Hey up Woodlanders, come on in. So this morning I've been making these panels. I've got four for one order and two for another order. It's weaving these really today, get these done. It's starting to rain. wildflower meadow strip I was on about the other day. We planted a load of wildflower seeds in here and I think I've just spotted yellow rattle. So we had a whole swathe of it all over here. Yellow rattle was everywhere which is brilliant because the parasite and it knocks the grass back um, and encourages other wildflowers to grow as well then. But this I think that's yellow rattle. Now I'm, I'm sure you guys will confirm if I'm right or wrong but that's quite amazing. We've got some other wildflowers. I don't know what this one is but that's quite a nice one. There's some more yellow rattle here, look. Here we go, look. That's it, that's it there. Oh, I'm glad about that. Because we haven't had it for about three years. Got all sorts in here, actually. I'm not very good with wildflowers. I know the odd ones. Happy about that. Bit of yellow rattle. Knocked a couple of ash trees over in the winter because I wanted some craft timbers. And you might see some spots on those trees over there. But I'm just looking into the canopy. So now we are at the end of May. And early May is when ash comes out. And so look at the state of that. That's all dead up there, look. And then if we spin you around to this one, that there, look, all the dead in that. So, and that, I haven't even marked that one up. And you can see just there is, that's what they call epicormic growth. It's the growth that shoots out the side of a, of a stem. And that's the resultant of that ash dieback disease. It kills the tops out, but the, the tree's trying to survive, and so it throws out these new shoots from the side, especially on younger ash trees where the bark isn't so thick. That double stem one there actually isn't looking too bad. That's quite a healthy canopy. But I'll be honest, all of the others, bar the odd one, is looking pretty grim. And I can see all these having to be clear felled in winter. And I'm gonna replant, I think, this lot with hazel.
think that'll be the last couple of bean poles all sorted for this year. Struggling to get them now. I've got a few scrawny ones, but we're nearly in June. Ah, it's the last few sales, that's good. I can't believe I've, I've been ranting on about bean poles for, for weeks now. And and actually they've all gone. So I shouldn't have worried and I shouldn't have gone on a bit of a mardy mega about it, should I really? It will be more of the same tomorrow, so I'll bring you along and try to shoot lots of B-roll for you. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. It's quite a nice time of year, really. All the colour and the green and the life and the noise. So, I'm getting wet anyway. See you in a bit. Morning. How are you? I've just had a bit of a time lapse. This is the progress we've got so far on this panel. This is the first one, so I'm hoping that we can get this one done before tea break, which, and then another one before lunch, and then another one this afternoon. So I'm hoping to try and get three panels made today, because otherwise we're going to uh, not hit the target. Number three. Just noticed that our boundary fence isn't looking totally uh, secure. Because uh, next door's have got livestock, you see. Significant problem here, I think. Oh dear me, what do you do? Number four. Uh, sprint to finish this one because I've got the dentist this afternoon and I forgot all about it. So I was going to deliver these panels and I was meant to go into Stafford, drop them off, which is about an hour away from here. I'm meant to be the dentist at four o'clock. So I better uh, go and get my teeth extracted. I've no idea what gummy mess I'll look like tomorrow, but um, it could be interesting. It could be dentures all the way from now on. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Hey up, busy morning this morning out gardening. So uh, this afternoon we've got to go and put our four hazel panels, which are these ones over here, three here and one over there, look. We'll load them onto the trailer and then we've got to buzz off over to Stafford then to go and drop them off. So thanks Woodlanders for watching another Woodlog, um, it's good to see you and if you're able to try and get out in the woodland again this week, enjoy some of this woodland goodness. See you next week.